Hi, my name is Jamie Moss. I'm a student at Chattahoochee Tech. I'm taking ECC 1105, Health, Safety, and Nutrition. My resource was my book, which is Health, Safety, and Nutrition. I use Chapter 12, which is on the Nutrition Guidelines. So I'm going to be talking about some of the Nutrition Guidelines, food groups, the serving sizes for kids, and some examples of what foods could be which vitamins. Um, the Master Guideline is called a Dietary Reference Intake. It's a DRI for short. DRIs are a recommendation now that emphasizes the critical relationship that exists between dietary intake health and the reduced risk of chronic diseases. The DRIs are used to establish national nutri nutritional policies as well as planning diets and um, assessing individual groups' intakes. The nutrition information of food labels is also based upon the DRI reference values. So dietary guidelines for the U.S. update every five years. Dietary guidelines serve as basis for nearly all nutrition information in the U.S. It also has a broader approach now. So dietary guidelines provide information about healthy eating patterns, physical activity, the role that it plays in weight management, and disease prevention in ages of two-year-olds and up. Um, schools and early childhood programs have an obligation and an opportunity to promote children's healthy eating and physical activities in an effort to address child obesity. Um, to be able to combat this, they need to be adhering to dietary guidelines. Um, so when they're serving children, they need to follow the recommendation of servings and also providing outside time throughout the day. So. I know my daycare does this, for example. We do have two outside times for all rooms, so even the baby room. Um, it's 45 minutes each, uh, and I think it helps tremendously to be able to keep those kids active and out and about and, um, you know, kind of be able to wear off some energy they had. Um, it's fun to watch them play. Um, I definitely get my time to be able to play with them outside so I appreciate it a lot. Um, so now I'm going to talk about the food groups and what they contribute and also the serving sizes and some examples of some things. So vegetables contribute minerals, vitamins, and fibers to the children's diet but it, it's also low in fat and calories. So children's ages of two and three require a cup. Four and eight should have a cup and a half. So some examples of sources of vitamin A would be carrots, greens, and pumpkin. Fruit group is major contributors of vitamins, especially A and C. So children's two and three should have a cup, whereas four and eight should have a cup to a cup and a half. So some examples of vitamin C are oranges, strawberries, and grapefruits. Grains provide complex carbohydrates, vitamin B, minerals, and dietary fiber. It also decreases the risk of developing chronic diseases. So heart disease, obesity, um, diabetes. Um, so children are required to have three ounces. That's the ages of two and three. Four to eight should have five ounces. So some examples are bread, pasta, and cereal. As you know, for another example, um, Cheerios is very high on saying that their cereal helps with heart disease. So I think that is cool. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Just a lot of Different foods really do that. I love pasta a lot. I actually make a lot of food that way. Um, so protein, it provides a critical nutrition, including protein, vitamin B, iron, zinc, and magnesium. So obviously some examples are meats, uh, seafood, eggs. Uh, if you don't like eggs, that's weird. Just kidding. Um, two to three year olds should have two ounces of protein. Um, four to eight should have four ounces. Um, dietary group is the primary source of dietary calcium, potassium, and vitamin D. So examples, obviously, milk and yogurt. Um, two to three-year-olds should have two ounce, two cups, two cups daily, and four to eight should have two and a half cups daily. So that is the end of my presentation. Um, thank you so much for watching. And I hope that y'all all have a great day. So again, thank you.